some things for the weekend. Today is Saturday. So, take you along the day. Maybe I'll run this in tomorrow. into tomorrow. Just depends on how much I film today. But yeah, just wanted to say hi. And nice to be back with you. Last vlog was Florida, so. Oh yeah, that's right. Nice to be back together. Yeah. As you can see the stack of books there and I'll have linked in the description for you guys my book recaps of the month playlist I do it every single month in this month the books were superb so I highly recommend watching that if you need some book recommendations to read this summer but I actually wanted to show you guys these are my filming tripods and light. I like to sit in Bree's office because the, the background is just cute. But I'll link these actually in the description for you guys. Um, and they're really inexpensive. I think they were like $20 or something like that. But yeah, really cheap. I'm actually going to sit here in my office and edit because I um, want to get that um, video out today. So it won't be very hard to edit and get that exported because it's just a sit down chatty one. So I'm going to just edit here. Seems like it might storm. It's kind of getting darker and darker. So. We shall see. It's nice to be back vlogging. I took the week off after Florida, after vacation, because I actually got like a little head cold slash allergy type of situation. And I was like feeling really under the weather. So I took the week off um, just to recuperate and things like that. So I'm happy to be back vlogging and i missed you guys we had so much fun in florida and i thought the vlog turned out really cute i'll link that for you guys in the description but yeah we had a lot of fun it was so nice to be in the sun um it's made me really miss i mean i've always been missing austin texas and southern california if you guys are new to the channel my partner and I lived in Austin, um, Texas, and then we lived in Southern California. I'm originally from the Midwest, Ohio, and my partner Bree is actually from California. So we moved back here in the beginning of the year, um, just for some reasons, and it has definitely 
like I'm not gonna go into it, but it's definitely taken a toll on me mentally to not have the sun and um, the lifestyle change, you know? So we have a lot of dreams and aspirations and things like that. And a lot of that entails to be back near the warm weather because it's just so hard to not have the sun it gets really hard to like stay in the house and like feel motivated and that's just me my personality and I'm not saying that this isn't a great place i mean i literally grew up here but it was really nice to be in florida and be in the warm weather and get a tan and feel the sun so i felt really blessed to have that for a little while. I also filmed a yoga flow while we were down there on vacation, which was really fun. I've never filmed at the beach before. I did a summer solstice yoga flow and I always link the newest yoga flows in the description for you guys. So that was really fun. And overall, it was just great to like be around my nieces and you know, watch that place evolve with my family. We've my dad has had that place since like 2010. Um, so it's been fun to like watch us evolve as a family, as people and the space, you know, now that my sister like has kids and it's just really nice. So I'm happy to be home though and back in a routine. I'm feeling good to get back to filming. I have some video ideas, so I'm just like excited for what's to come and happy to be back chatting with you guys and sharing my life with you all. So thank you for being here, like I always say, but I truly mean it. So I'm just gonna get editing and it shouldn't take me too long, but, and then I'll probably prep dinner. So I'll see you when I see you. Okay, I just took a shower and I'm in my comfy PJs. I'm just gonna do my skincare with you guys. And yeah, I have some new products. We're still using the same, I feel like, Snooki with the poof. You guys, when I was in high school, everybody did this everybody but I have some new for products and I want to share with you guys um, some of the new things we've been still loving the youth to the people um, kale face wash um, I'll link it in the description for you guys but yeah we still love that face wash and I just took a small size of it to Florida and then I picked up just a few things while I was shopping for travel stuff and I saw, I don't know, is it Bioma? It has really cute packaging, little spray situation. It says replenish and strengthen the skin's microbiome, microbiome mimics natural barrier functions working to calm redness, hydrate and soften, refresh the skin. I got this, and I just put it on my face. I got this while um, I was getting things at the store for Florida because I thought that this would be nice to refresh my skin because in the summer sun, my skin gets so dry. So this was nice when I would just come in from laying out in the sun, I would spread this on my face. I've been using this app called Yuka. I'll put it right here, Y-U-K-A, and it, you scan the barcode of products while you're at the store and then it tells you um, the rating of the product out of 100 whether you know like it's poor or good based off of the ingredient list and then once you receive the score it breaks down all the ingredients and explains why it's um, bad or good and the bioma product rated 100 out of 100 which is really cool especially for like um you know getting them at target and stuff so i've been using that app like it's my new bible you can do food ingredient or food products too 
and it's like astonishing because I think, you know, I'm a pretty good shopper, I'd say, but you know, you never know. So I've been using that to kind of help me purchase things to understand like, you know, if there's good quality ingredients, whether it's skincare or food. I've still been using the Paula's Choice Exfoliant. This has salicylic acid in it and BHA, um, which is good for like blackheads and shrinking your pores. And I just put on a little cotton round and go over my face. Um, and then another thing I got from Bioma is the Brightening Serum. serum. It has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in it. I'm also like a sucker for good packaging and I think all their packaging is really cute plus it's all really affordable um, in comparison to like some products that you can get at Sephora. You know, if you shop at Sephora, you know how it is. So I just pat this into my skin, but this is the Caudalier um, radiance serum. I'm literally almost out of this and it's so good. Like I honestly, if anybody knows a good replacement for this, that's not as expensive because a real bottle, like a full size bottle of this is $82 and you know, skincare is worth it, especially as you age and like, you know, I'm almost 30 and stuff. So, but $82 is just a little expensive, but it's really good on like, when you have a dark spot from like a zit, it really does like light in it. And so I love it. So if anybody knows like a dupe for it, let me know. Using this under eye serum from Osea. A really fun fact is that I actually worked with the founder of Osea. Her name is Melissa. I actually worked with her in Austin, Texas doing like personal assisting for her and she gave me those products as a gift and I genuinely love them and I've gifted them to my family because, you know, spread the love. Such a lovely lady, such a nice sweet family and their whole company ethos and everything is just really good. So, I love the support. This looks so funny on camera. I love to support, you know, companies that are doing good and that are good people and stuff like that. And obviously you don't know everything, but yeah, they're really good people and I love that product. I want to purchase more. I just haven't gotten around to it. It takes me a while to get through like skincare products and stuff, but yeah, then I'm just using the Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum, or Vitamin C, or wait, it's Triple C Moisturizer, yeah. I'll have everything linked down below, but those are the things I've been loving. Let me know what you're loving out there. I love watching people's like recommended products and stuff like that. I think it's really fun. Maybe it's just like a girly thing. I don't know, but I love it. So yeah. Wild, 
Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Is it good? Wow. Is it good? Mm hmm. Okay. Mmm, that was spicy. I like that. Me too. Ooh. You guys, if you see these chips at your store, donkey. Killer. You're so good.
Sunday and we just cleaned the house we always do our Sunday reset but we went to a local bakery I almost said bagel <laughs> and um, we got um, pizza dough and bread and bread and we always love supporting the local bakery mm -hmm. it's always I feel like important I think yeah and and it, it tastes, like, tastes better. better it's just so much better it's just better yeah. but we're off to the library to go get some new books so, just wanted to say hello. It's <laughs> like all the books are. I know I only could find this one. The other one they don't have. Yeah. Maybe I'll see about that one. What's up? We're home. And we're making a little bit of leftovers for lunch. But we picked up some books. We got two. I only got one. I'll share mine. I only got one. Because the library was popping and every that book was. that we would look for was checked out. Everyone. So the book I got was The Psychology of Money, which was on my book wish list and seems like a more emotional, mental connection towards money rather than just like an analytical connection. So this is the book I got. And then I got, I wanted to read Conversations with Nostradamus by Dolores Cannon, um, but it wasn't in, so I got this one about Nostradamus um, and like his prophecies and stuff like that of the future. So I'm super excited about it. It's by Mario Reading. And then I found this book by Dolores Cannon, Five Lives Remembered. Um, I actually don't know anything about it, but I was just excited about being able to read something by her. Um, but I think that this is um, part of her hypnotherapy where she kind of brings up or like regresses back to a past life of two people and how their lives overlap. Something like that. So that will be really cool to read. Look at how cute she is on the back. Cute. So we're gonna have our little lunch. Same thing we ate last night. We just just our little heated it up. You? Yeah. Okay. For you. Okay. Ooh. 